Okay, what we have here is a 1967 Chrysler Imperial regulator electric window motor. And uh, we actually got two of these motors, uh, uh, both of which we have completed now, or nearly completed actually. We do have to wire the original plug back in. Now the problem with these was that the original motors, which are 1967 technology and were, they look pretty stout and good, but there was nothing that we could do to get these original motors to operate free spinning at less than uh, six to eight amps, which is, that's what they should be drawing when they're loaded. So we had to abandon the original motors. Uh, I went online actually and picked out some uh, uh, aftermarket electric window regulators with motors on them. This is the head. Unfortunately, this portion of the motor was not compatible with the gear arrangement on our original. So what we did was we took the bodies of those motors actually cut off the the, sh the drive shaft on the armatures loaded it into the motor and that's what we have operating here right now the original head the original screw drive intersecting the two uh, the motor shaft with the worm drive adjusting the end play and uh, using these much more powerful permanent magnet uh, reverse polarity motors now uh, my partner here is about ready to uh, uh, operate this. Excuse me, Steve. Oh. Yeah, just a sec, please. And then, uh, uh, so this uh, a spring wind here is in order to overcome the weight of the uh, of the uh, window. And so, in one direction, this r runs a little bit higher amperage than the other as it winds the spring. But go ahead and, uh, and operate it. Very good. And then go back again. We're reversing the polarity as the switch does. Now we might mention that the switches in these take the full load of the motor. And, okay, stop. So there's a very good chance that the switches in these still need to be redone. We've done many, many, many of the electrical switches that take the full amperage load of the motor. Very simple for us to put a relay in this system so that it sends a signal to the switch that's only a tenth of an amp. I would recommend that. In the meantime, go ahead and run it again, and I'll show the amperage draw on this unit. Oops. Okay, going with the spring, there's it's just like running free or better. I mean, we're assisting the motor. There was less than an amp and a half draw. Now against the spring. Good. You can see we're drawing just about five amps. And that's not unusual, very characteristic, but of course we will have the advantage of the weight of the window pulling it down. So uh, uh, very powerful motors, uh, everything aligned. Now, besides rebuilding these motors, there were several problems with the regulator that you may be concerned about. One was that the main stud coming through the back of the regulator to hold the spring had wobbled out. We went ahead and brazed it back into place and lubricated it so that it doesn't wobble and the plate remains absolutely uh, uh, parallel to its draw throughout. As well, the plate is lubricated on both front and back as it is aligned through the mouth of the motor. So uh, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and put the original equipment uh, uh, wires back on. Now, the only problem with this in, we don't know which way is up and which way is down. So we'll leave one of these wires open for you to uh, 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 connect, or we'll put some some terminals on it to allow you to uh, uh, determine which is the correct direction for up or down. So uh, everything looks good. That's our story. We're sticking to it.